Hooker. Yeah, yeah, Hooker there. I've had a lot of people ask why do you still have a bumper hitch when you don't need it for the fifth wheel? And oh. that is why. <laughs> so actually, I like slipping it under a little bit there. Now they won't get out. We're getting ready to pull out of the Walmart and I do not like the setting alarm clock thing anymore. Ooh, some cool clouds, fog at the base of the mountain. A lot of people pulled in uh, last night and just sleep. Some are just sleeping in the cars, have these little mini campers. Uh, but oh, we're almost set, ready to go. So I sign out for right now. All bushy tailed and blurry eyed. Blurry tailed and bushy eyed. Whatever. Uh, all right. Let's go find us a new site. Okay, time to get the puppies out, but this is our campsite. This is awesome. We do have a little Kodiak over here to our right. We got this river bank all wrapped around the trees. There were two other people here, but they left just now. So we got a clear shot of the river. One of the class A. Found this through Campendium. We were first gonna be staying at the O, what was it called? The, I'll, I'll pull it up, the something bow uh, campground. It marked it as free. We got there, first of all, there's a split in the road. We didn't know which way was which. Pulled it up, zoomed in on GPS, and it said the campground was to the right, which wound up being private property, and we got stuck. Man, it was scary. I gotta double check to make sure we didn't get any damage to the rig trying to get through that mess. Uh, we finally got out of there, checked out the campground. It's part of the Discovery. Uh, I got some new scratches on the side of the rig. Uh, I think the scratches are more uh, tree sap. <laughs> Everything looks good on this though, right? Okay. Yeah, probably settling. Anyways, uh, we got out of there because uh, basically what they don't tell you, they say it's free camping, but you got to have a Washington State Discovery Pass and National Park Pass doesn't count. So we would have to have bought a, a Discovery Pass to stay there. So if you're, if you buy an annual pass for Washington, uh, yeah, you're good, but don't let the zero price tag fool you. It's not free. You got to have the Discovery Pass. So this is only five dollars a night we were going to be here a week we wound up staying at walmart last night which got us down to six days we realized we have quite a long drive when we head up to uh burlington anacortes area so we're probably only going to be here five days and then we're going to head out uh and find an overnighter spot halfway between so we don't have one super long driving day i just don't like those uh, especially in this area, a lot of windy roads. So yeah, it's just a beautiful area and uh, we're gonna be here for five days. We're gonna check out the coast. We're gonna check out the rainforest and it is gonna be awesome. Let's finish getting set up. One of the downsides to finding a 
cool discounted place to stay is sometimes you get people who don't understand campground etiquette that pull into the vicinity. I'm gonna title this Redneck Holiday. Uh, no offense to some of my redneck friends, but basically these guys set up a huge camp. That I don't mind. I mean, they had a big group of friends, but then they decided to take over the entire campground. They extended their party right outside our door, realizing that this is a wide angle lens. They are closer than they appear. They had multiple dogs running off leash which kept us to have to keep our dogs inside because their dogs were not disciplined they not only were partying outside our door they had the music playing loud screaming yelling as if they were the only ones in the entire campground they also left their fireplace going and we'll pick it up from there we're going over here because there was a group of well, let's were, just say people they're the ones that were out partying out in front of our, our rig, rig laughing their music, causing trouble. Last in M100s last night. Yep. Um, Scaring the dogs. Pretty much acting as though they're the only ones here. And uh, they all just pulled out. And, and then their fire I noticed, yeah, they mass. Dumped water here from they dumped, chest. yeah, so their water. The yeah, it's like, so here's the fire, it's still smoldering. Oh my gosh, and oh trash my in God. there too. Trash. Look at this. This is unacceptable, people. So don't be this person. Okay. I hope that's enough water to put it out. Well, if it's not, I'll go back and get some more. But yeah, don't. Well, that should. Uh... Hopefully it'll do it. Yeah, don't be these people. This, this, is, is... this was bigger than I thought it was. So they... Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of wood if we wanted to yeah. grab some wood for fire. You know what? I will. Yeah. They're the perfect example of what not to do. Yeah. Their dogs were off leash the entire time. Running up to other dogs. Running up to other dogs and people were trying to keep their dogs uh, on leash. In fact, at one point they were in the river with their dog and one of their dogs started to get carried away. Oh, we have a video of that. Too, in, so. uh, in the river. So I well, think we're we all need by to... ourselves again. Well, no, we've got the class A. There's yeah, another class A up nice here, people. and there's some campers down around the bend here. Very nice people. So I'm gonna um, pack my truck up and load up on firewood. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think that's a really good idea before someone else does. Is this still smoking? Yes, it is. I'll get some more water. We'll get a little more water. We are on the hey. ocean front side of Olympic National Park. Absolutely beautiful. I'm kind of getting tired. I need more adjectives. Breathtaking, spectacular, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to break open the thesaurus. I keep saying the same things. And though there are a lot of people, it looks like they're a little more dispersed once you get down to the beach. So we're gonna head down the trail and check this out. By the way, dogs are allowed on Ruby Beach on a leash and due to people we are masking up oops going downhill is not optimum with a husky save your energy for the back trip i want you to pull me up this thing well sierra decided to mess right on the trail and Don's back cleaning it up. They're insisting on doing their husky maneuvers downhill. So I'm hoping not to face plant it on this uh, gravel road here. But we still have a pretty amazing view as we go. And there are a lot of people right down in the little overflow tide pool area. But it looks like they're pretty spread out across the beach, especially if we head down further that way, or if we get past the people this way. Whoa. No kidding. All right, pups, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Yeah, I think there's a way. Oh. 
just a bit of a commentary if you can hear me over the waves. I think you can. As I'm looking around, it's no wonder that COVID-19 exploded in the state of Washington. There are only a handful of people actually wearing a mask. And I mean just a small handful. As we were in a crowded parking lot, only two or three people out of dozens upon dozens were wearing masks. We're down here as I'm looking at crowded beach areas. And on the walkway, about one every one out of every five people might have had a mask on. Uh, Washington, you know what? I have a few friends in Washington. I love you guys, but you're the reason, guys. You are the reason. You do have a beautiful coastline, however. Back up. This is very people here today. I didn't expect this on a Monday. But we got tons of people. Yeah, because I know you have people all over. Yeah, so let me tell you, from this point of view, I can tell you what you could do. If you take a picture, stay in the same position, and if those people move, take another picture, and I can Photoshop in the rock that's missing from where they are. I mean, it's real simple to do. I can make this beach absolutely empty, void of people, and you'll never know. I am that good in Photoshop. Only problem is I don't have Photoshop for video, so I can't Photoshop them out of my video. But we can Photoshop them out of the photos. extremely crowded and I honestly believe I am the only one wearing a mask. And I realize you might say we were in a parking lot. Yeah, I just walked down a path and a couple people passed me and no one's masked up, nothing. So we're not going to stick around here very long. We just had a snack. We're going to be heading out. I think we're going to be No offense to Washington people, but I think we're going to be happy to get out of the state. It's the only state where no one... Oh, there's someone actually with a mask. Nice. I actually feel it's the only state where no one seems to care. On, so this has been uh, an interesting experience in the state of Washington so um, we're gonna be here for a few in the state for a few more weeks but uh, it's gonna be nice 
getting out to wide open spaces again. There's just been way too many people. I think it might be the last hurrah before school goes back into session. That could be why there's just so many people here. This is the most crowded we've seen anything since we've been on our trip. What an amazing campsite. Oh, for five, five bucks, bucks a night, night, how do you beat it? You can't. It was just awesome. Oh my gosh. Just even, awesome. Even with rednecks on holiday for a weekend, it was... <laughs> okay, but we're going to end this one here. <laughs> uh, we mean no offense to rednecks on holidays, but... Um... <laughs> We're asking is be considered oh yeah people's oh, yeah. area okay so and make, their campground so make sure you hit that subscribe button <laughs> and hit the bell and it'll tell you when we post every sunday at, at two. two yes and for good measure thumbs up mm. and any questions any anything alan's bar was amazing any rig could get down there. and it's funny after we went there it hit the top five, five of the week for campendium, campendium. So we're so, really excited about so that. So we agree. Was really it was cool. really a great place. It was place. awesome. So, so Camp cool. Pendium, yes. That yeah. was awesome. So anyways, that's about it. We will see you on the road. Safe travels. Salancha.